My driving skills are impeccable. I need the world to know this before I unfriend the entire world. I'm sure other car enthusiasts will understand with me when I say I take my driving very, very seriously. I am an excellent driver, if I do say so myself. I pride myself in my driving skills. Whenever a new passenger gets in my car, I ask them, is it okay if I drive a little crazy, or do you want me to drive like a grandma? Usually she says, uh, see what I did there? I said she, get it? That they don't care. So I'm like, cool, and then I test what they mean by it's okay, and I, you know, maneuver through traffic a little funny and, and pressing on the gas pedal a little bit here and there, seeing how much they can handle. And to those that follow me closely, I didn't get an IS350 because it looks pretty. It's got a lot of Debbies. <laughs> it's got a lot of horses in it and I'm gonna put it to use. And I just wanted to bring this topic up because recently I hung out with some friends of mine and I was chosen as the driver. And OMG, did these little boys complain. Oh my god, you're going so fast. Slow down. I remember this one time this girl told me, I'm surprised you haven't gotten in a car accident before. As for my buddies, my boys, guys, not ladies, I'm never driving for them again. Let's make it clear, planet Earth, I am a good driver. I got NASCAR blood in me. Paul Walker's spirit left his and entered into mine. And all I'm saying is I know how to drive. So if you insult my driving in any kind of way, I'm surprised you haven't gotten in a car accident before. <laughs> then don't expect for me to drive ever again. Thumbs up this video if you hate being stuck in traffic. And let me know in the comments below, what is your dream car? I think for me, my dream car is the Acura NSX. That car looks freaking sweet. And remember, click that subscribe button. That way you know when I upload a new video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> no matter who you are on this planet, everybody goes through hardships. And unless they're your BFF, they don't want to hear it. Where you got awesome, amazing news you just want to share with the world or you just want to sit down and have a chit chat with somebody about life, the struggles, and complain about what's going on in your life. And if you don't have a best friend, that's where therapy comes in.